Let's now get to your state. The House of Assembly there has footed the decision of the leadership of the state security network and Amotek calls over the recall of all the personnel in Iwajowa and Itesuaju local government areas to Ibadan. Take a listen. The lawmaker representing Iwajowa State constituency in the Oyo State House of Assembly, Honorable Adidibu Akim, Odimiji while reporting Tamatumba. the development, explained that the personnel were recalled to Ibadan on the excuse that they failed to report the latest bandit attack in their areas of responsibility. It maintained that all the Amotekun personnel deployed to two local government areas are currently in Ibadan serving punishment on the directive of the authorities of the security network agency, which he said has made it impossible for the people of the zone to go about their day-to-day -day businesses for fear of the unknown. While ruling on the matter, the Speaker of the Oyo State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Debo Ogundoin, said he will consult with the House Committee on Security Matters and also meet with the heads of the Amotekun security outfit in the state to ensure that the personnel return to their duty post soonest. I'm so surprised that since yesterday now, there's no single Amotekun personnel in uh, those two local governments. So what are we saying? If something occurs within that short period, within that a week that he said he want them to to, to be in the battle, I, I expect even if you want to do that, you have to make provision for other set of um, uh, personnel that you will send there to cover up for that one week. You never make a provision for anything like that. You just decide to ask all of them to report in the battle and they have to stay in battle for a week. Without the commander of the Amateco Corps aware of that, they should reach in their own security procedure. But also, it doesn't negate the fact that punishing them by bringing them back to the battle, where they are useless to everybody and their people, is also not um, advisable, especially at the, the how volatile that Recall that a 70-year-old farmer and vigilante member in Itasa community in Iwajo, a local government area of your state, Amodu Abubakar, was attacked by suspected Fulani bandit at the weekend, leaving his hands amputated. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.